Hi, I'm John Fredrickson and welcome to the ICDP Institute. Have you ever known someone who likes to complain a lot and blame others for his problems? This defense of blaming and complaining has a very fancy name, externalization. Externalization is a defense by which the patient blames others for the ways he hurts himself. The conflict begins with a stimulus that makes the patient angry. He wards off his anger by punishing himself. But unable to see how he punishes himself, he accuses others, blaming them for causing his suffering. We have to undo externalization to establish an internal focus in therapy. To do so, help the patient see that he does to himself what he blames others for doing to him. Once he can see that his defenses cause his suffering, he'll have an internal focus that will lead to effective therapy. Let's take an example. A woman uh, comes into the session. She's angry with her daughter for making her late to the therapy appointment. The patient begins by saying, I was ready to leave, but my daughter asked if I could take her downtown. So I said, sure. Then she hopped in the shower. I said, Annie, I have to go. She says, I'm coming, Mom. Then she was drying herself off. I said, Annie, I've, I've got to go. She said, coming, Mom. Then I heard the hair dryer. I told her I had to go. And she said, just a minute, Mom. And then she finally comes out. And then here I am, 20 minutes late. I'm so angry at Annie for making me late. This is externalization. She claims her daughter made her wait when in fact the patient chose to wait. Notice how I help her see the defense of externalization, blaming the daughter for what the patient actually did to herself. So I said, so she made you late, is that true? Patient, yes, didn't you hear what I said? Therapist, yes I did. Um, who made the decision to take Annie downtown? Patient says, I did. Therapist, and who made the decision to wait when Annie went into the shower? Patient, I did. Therapist, and who made the decision to wait when she was drying herself? Patient, I did. And therapist, and, and who made the decision to wait while she was drying her hair? Patient, I did. Therapist, so who made the decision to wait? Patient, I did, but, but she asked me to. Therapist, yes, she did. And when she asked, you could have said no to her and yes to yourself. But instead, you said yes to her and no to yourself. Do you see what I mean? Hmm. When I said yes to her, I was saying no to myself. Therapist, right. And then you tried to blame her for your repeated efforts to say no to yourself. Could that be hurting you? Notice how the therapist helps the patient see her agency, how she creates the situations about which she complains. When she can see how she creates her suffering, her complaining and blaming stop. This defense is very important. If we don't see it, the patient will maintain an external focus, how others mistreat her. Then she will remain a victim of others rather than see how she victimizes herself through her own choices to abandon herself and her interests. If you wonder if a patient is externalizing, here are a few cues. One, she likes to complain. Two, she blames others for causing her problems. Three, she uses the passive voice, I had to, he made me, I had no choice. I couldn't have done anything else. This kind of language where she has no agency places the causes for her problems outside of her. So carefully examine what the patient did. Also, make a list of what the patient blames others for. Then carefully notice how the patient does those exact things to herself. That will undo her projection and externalization. If you'd like to learn more about this defense and others, you can get my new book, Co-Creating Change, at www.istdpinstitute.com, along with skill-building exercises and videos. Until next time, I'm John Fredrickson, and thanks so much for joining us again at the ISTDP Institute.